Hello everybody, my name is Frosty Mate, and welcome back to a brand new video. So quickly before I get into the video, basically there is a new game on the mobile device that's just come out. I'm sure that you guys have heard of it. It's called Call of Duty Mobile. Like who hasn't heard of Call of Duty? Essentially, it's free to play. It's absolutely awesome. I love playing it. And I'm just wondering if you guys wanted to see any gameplay of it. You can get it on the computer as well, which is really cool. I really am addicted to it and um, you know, I'm popping off. I, was, I look at this screenshot, like this just explains it all. I think it's an 11 times kill chain. Like, do you know how difficult that is? Basically, I got a VTOL warship and I was just raining hell on all of the opposition and I got 32 kills and two deaths in that game. But essentially guys, I really like playing it. I want to share content with you guys on it. I want to join and make a clan, invite you guys on it. So let me know in the comments section if you're wanting to see me play some Call of Duty Mobile, get you guys involved. It's a really good game. And yeah, enjoy the video. Hello everybody, my name is Frosty Mate and welcome back to a brand new Adventure Quest Worlds video. Now today in this episode we are going to be taking a look at the brand new 11th Upholder Star Swords. Now this is really cool, not only because we're we going to see some really nice Star Swords, but also this is the first episode or the first ever video that I'm going to be using my new house with the new character and armour customization which I think is really cool. If you haven't seen the video that I posted last, it's about the Infinity Titan. Well, actually it's the second to last one. The Infinity Titan package. I've got this brand new house. It's really cool. You got a character and armor customization. But anyway, let's get straight on into the video. So we've, we've started playing this game back in 2009, which means the second upholder. So as you can see here, couldn't get it when I was younger because of like, uh, what you call it? Like I didn't have any money, I was quite young, but we've gone from 3rd, 4th, 5th, missed 6th, 7th, missed 8th, blah, blah, blah. You get the idea. Anyway, 11th Upholder. Now, these Star Swords are pretty cool, and they've also done something that they've never really done before, which is the Katana, Star Katana, but we'll get straight on into it. So, right off the bat then, the Abyssal Flame Star Sword is really nice. They've changed it up slightly. As you can see, they've made it more beefier. They've added extra sections onto the Star Sword, which has never been seen before, which is really, really nice. You've got the classic Gothic Star Sword, which honestly looks really similar to the Onyx Star Sword, which was the second upholder. Obviously, it's not as dark, but still, we'll, we'll get it anyway. The classic Underworld Star Sword, man. Like, how close does that look like to the original Star Sword? But that is going to look so nice with the Icy Naval Commander. So I'm definitely going to be equipping that one. The Gothic Star Sword kind of just looks like the Dragon ones last year or the year before. We're not going to buy that one. Ah, uh, we may as well, actually. Uh, the Pyroclastic one looks really nice. Uh, the Sentinel Sword, which you just get in any single upholder. The Star Katana, really cool. You have the Star Sword of Nolgarth, man, which looks really nice as well. Uh, Underworld Star Sword, which looks cool. We've got the Jewel, and then finally the Jewel Flame Star Sword. Now you also get the Sentinel class, the Sentinel armor, Sentinel helmet, and the Sentinel cape. I don't even know what the Sentinel class is like. It says I'm recommending enhancement is fighter. Um, quite interesting, I never really used it. I always thought it was a bit of a dead class, so I just never really went into it. But let's have a take a look at these weapons then. I have equipped that, but it's just taking very slow. I do wonder if I've been disconnected. I haven't been disconnected. It's just taking a very long time. How interesting. So I can't even equip the Star Swords. Okay, so I've just relogged. Is it going to let me equip it? Okay, now it is. Interesting. So a bit of a weird bug there. But I think actually that kind of works really well with the Icy Naval. Yeah, these colors aren't quite right. But in the grand scheme of things, I think actually that's not too shabby at all. What else have we got? We've got the classic Gothic Star Sword, which looks fairly decent. You know, I rate that. We've got the classic Underworld Star Sword, which is the one that I'm looking forward to. Yeah, man, look at that. That is absolutely beautiful. That looks so similar to the classic Star Sword, but it's got some extra cool lightning animation. It's got like almost the same blue as this blue around here. Um, that is just epic. I love that so much. I think the classic Star Sword is better with this set because it's a bit brighter but yeah definitely still awesome i love that so much what else do we have we've got the gothic star sword which i've mentioned earlier kind of looks like the dragon ones from a couple of years ago still nice the pyroclastic star sword i 
I love the rune detail on it and I love the beam color. That's really nice. Um, they've done a really good job for these star swords. Really, really nice. Um, and then the star katana, which is quite interesting. It's actually color custom slightly. It's a shame that the, there is no sort of glow um, or the blade isn't color custom. It doesn't actually say anything here. No, it doesn't. We go check it out. Oh no, duh, I've got an armor customized up here. So the accessory color, if we were to change it to red, just to make it obvious of what it was. So that's that color. Um, so don't get me wrong, that still looks really nice. I wouldn't, I couldn't imagine it being um, a hair color which changes it. The only, my only reason for that is because obviously it's got a white beam and I have white hair, but it doesn't seem to be changing that. But that's still like a really nice sort of weapon, you know, don't get me wrong at all, that's really nice. We also have the Star Sword of Nogarth, which just, yeah, is expected to look really cool and it does look really nice. Obviously going for the same old school Miltonius sort of vibe with the Oblivion Blade of Nogarth. Um, I have that in my bank, so just bear with me two moments and I can show you where I'm coming from. Uh, Jewel Oblivion Blade of Nogarth. I have the dual version because I swapped in my old one, or well, the single version for the dual one, so just bear with me two moments. Jewel um, Oblivion Blade. So going from that to that, you can see it's almost similar, you know, with the same face, facial expressions and stuff. Really aggressive tone, um, which is really nice. We then have the Underworld Star Sword which looks really, really cool. I think they went for a Paragon one not too long ago as well, and it didn't kind of work out for me. This one is a lot nicer, it looks really nice. Um, yeah, very much like this one here. And then we have the Dual Flame Star Sword, so one of each, one of the blue and one of the golden. Really nice, really, really nice. Big fan of them. I can probably make quite a lot of nice looking sets with all of these Star Swords, and then I think that's about it, you know. Then, yeah, I'm just gonna double check this area called, I think it's called Join Crossroads. So it's taken me absolutely ages to find this location. It was called Dragon Road. Um, it, they don't seem to have updated it yet. So essentially there was this update years and years ago, maybe 2015 or something like that. And uh, you can look at the Upholder Merge Shops. So they haven't unlocked, or they haven't added the 11th one yet but if i just show you what this sort of includes you can get them in like daggers uh pole arm scythe star um like a staff then the back swords and then back blades now they do that for every single one so let's choose another one for instance fifth upholder chrono daggers as you can see here galactic star and the chrono pole arms and stuff like that so they haven't updated dragon road yet I don't even know if they will do, but you can see why I wanted to try and find this area out because imagine like the the uh, the classic underworld or whatever it's called, the classic Age of the Evil one in the dagger form or in a cool looking form like this. You need dragon crystals, I'm not entirely sure how you get those, but you can see why I tried to do it, right? Third upholder, you got the platinum one. They look insane, but unfortunately they haven't updated that yet and I'm not sure if they actually will do or not. But you guys have seen it here on this channel, the new Star Swords. Um, let's take a look at the, what the character badge looks like on the on the character page. And I think I've, I feel like I've gone past it. There it is. The 11th Upholder, an honorable award presenting to those who helped support AQ Words in October 2019. Thank you for celebrating with us. And that is it, guys. So I hope you enjoyed this episode, just showcasing what the Star Sword looks like. Probably my favorite is just the classic Underworld one, just because it goes with the IC Naval Commander. Uh, I absolutely love the IC Naval Commander. Uh, if you're new to my channel, I recently got it from the Wheel of Doom. I got a thousand treasure potions and asked for the IC Naval Commander. But uh, yeah, thank you ever so much for watching, everybody. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care.